Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Good Ale Farm. I'm Peter. Labor Day weekend, and I gotta wear a sweatshirt. Uh, I guess the summer's over. And uh, uh, hey, Troy, if you're watching, check the haircut out. Thanks for the tip last week. Um, so anyway, a quick uh, uh, update video on a couple things. And uh, anyway, I'll introduce you to uh, something I got new. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Yeah, so in uh, a couple other videos, I'd mentioned uh, an idea of bringing the show on the road. Or at least get a side hustle going with the tractor and my rotor tiller. Uh, but I never had a trailer big enough to, uh, to haul the equipment. So um, I've been looking around and for those of you um, in whether it be construction, but heck anywhere now, nowadays, it's so hard to find equipment, hard to find material, everything is overpriced. So I've been, I've been looking out for uh, trailers for some time. I finally found one that was pretty decent. Let's go check it out. All right, so here it is. It's a 16 foot Sure Track. Uh, I never really heard of that brand before, but eh, whatever, it's good enough. It's a uh, 7,000 pound capacity. So you have uh, two axles at 3,500 each. Um, this is uh, a couple years old, but it's for the most part, almost brand new. Uh, a few things I really like about this trailer is it has the utility box here that the uh, you know that that's a uh, aftermarket item you put on that the previous owner put on uh, it has a trailer jack which is a little bit off from the front so that's good so that if you have your tailgate down or whatever you're not going to be bumping into it um, from a spec standpoint that's uh, two and five sixteenth uh, hitch there and uh, just kind of moving along it has the uh, pressure treated pine deck uh, you know it has the the latches here along the side um, LED lights all, all all around which are pretty cool I also liked the heavy-duty diamond plate fender walls here um, tires are basically brand new the, you know the, the previous owner really didn't use this this much another aftermarket part here are the uh, gorilla lift uh, for the gate which is a heavy-duty gate we'll go to see that next so this this gate is a um, an upgrade gate they call this a ladder ladder style and you can see the heavy-duty brackets here um, although it's a you know they call this technically a landscape trailer um, it's really heavy duty that's something I was looking looking for I didn't want to have my tractor as it climbed this ramp to have any problems so um, uh, glad to have that heavy duty gate uh, another nice to have I mean you might think it's a minor item but there's another add-on is a spare tire you would think everything which could come with a spare tire obviously brand new you know untouched and uh i guess what really sold me on it were these green stem caps i mean i was kind of hesitant but i saw those green stem caps i'm like i gotta get this thing but uh anyway uh, all joking aside trailers in great shape and um uh, I was able to work out a, a fair and good deal uh, from my standpoint with the previous owner. Uh, so picked it up today. Uh, the, the next step is to uh, have it registered, uh, get it uh, road, road ready, and then uh, look to see if I could uh, pick up some side jobs with the, uh, the tractor. So I think I'm gonna bring the tractor over, test load it up, and see what goes on.
All right, 16 foot was the right length there. I mean, I was going back and forth on a 14 or 18, but uh, so I got a, a good, uh, let's call that foot there to go. And then in the back here, you figure you put a rototiller or uh, a York rake, a blade, got plenty of room here and then with the gate up. So you figure I got another <clears throat> four feet here with it um, all right so that went on pretty well uh, the tractor sits great I mean from a width standpoint it's perfect I got easily a foot and a half on each side this gate was like ideal the tires went right in the reinforced area so all right that's pretty good I'm gonna uh, back this thing down and uh, unhook the trailer and what a lousy day it's like a nuisance rain it's almost like a mist coming down uh it's not enough rain to have you sit inside and do nothing but it's enough of rain when you're outside it just makes makes it miserable things get slippery so when you're dealing with equipment and whatnot you got to be extra careful that's why i'm not going to go too crazy here i'll back it down uh bring the tractor back over there and uh find a place for the trailer. Hey now, jeez. Okay, take it easy. All right, everybody, that's the video for today. Um, a little bit of a uh, an update of the uh, sure track trailer 16 foot uh, glad to have that uh, in the uh, uh, in the rotation so uh, anyway thanks for tuning in and I hope you're having a great day until next time take care